In case you've not seen one in the wild, the Can-Am Spider RT is a three-wheeled machine biased towards touring and travel with enough storage for two, especially on the RT Limited. In a nutshell, both of them are capable and very comfortable touring machines. The Can-Am Spider RTs are powered by a 1330cc Rotex engine with 115 clamped horsepower. That's an adequate amount, but the Spider RT is not a scorcher, given that it weighs over a thousand pounds when gassed up. The onset of power is smooth and predictable with the majority of the punch delivered in the low and mid range. The engine is designed to be low maintenance, which is excellent for a machine intended for munching miles. That power is delivered through a semi-automatic transmission to the rear wheel via a belt. The transmission is a paddle style shifter and is actuated up and down by your left thumb and index finger, respectively. It comes with a reverse gear, which is good because I'm comfortable saying not many people listening to this would want to Fred Flintstone the spider backwards. The transmission is a smooth operator and it's got a sophisticated hydraulic clutch system according to Can-Am's blurbs. Long legs. Oh yeah. Looks are of course always subjective, but I think the new model looks great. It looks more like a low roadster than the previous Spider models. Despite its more aggressive appearance, luxury touring, its aim with the Spider RT, it's equipped with cruise control, electronically adjusted windscreen, a stereo that supports Bluetooth and app connectivity, and the Spider is also equipped with a bright, colorful 7.8 inch LCD screen that displays plenty of relevant ride information. The suspension is supple and soaks up every large bump in the road nicely. The RT and the RT Limited are both tailor-made for touring, but the Limited would be my choice if traveling with a partner. They have an incredible amount of storage, more than some small cars I have owned, and in the case of side boxes in the front storage area, or the front, the front trunk, as I affectionately refer to it, aren't enough for you. The Limited includes a painted to match top box with extra speakers that provide a supportive backrest and can also hold two large helmets. The top case also has additional brake lighting and USB charge port. Perhaps most importantly, the Limited is also equipped with a shock that adjusts automatically when your passenger climbs aboard. I find that a necessary upgrade if you ride two up often since it greatly enhances the ride quality. On the topic of handling in general, these spiders are perfectly fine handling any road very well. However, I didn't want to push them through corners. The comfortable soft suspension causes the spider to experience body roll, and although it will handle fast curves just fine, cruising is where it's happiest. Since we are riding all through Texas, we had an adequate time to assess the spider's manners on long straight highways. Thanks to the wind and the spider's large profile, I found that I had to give it constant input to keep going straight down the road. A little bit different feeling than a two-wheeled motorcycle, where you can just adjust lane position by slightly leaning your hips in one direction where you'd like to travel. This is the natural result of having three versus two wheels on the ground. However, it's easy to get used to the race car fast steering rack and power steering fairly quickly. The Can-Am Spider is a wonderful travel companion. The wind protection can only be described as absolute. Riding one is almost like driving a convertible with the top down. With the windscreen at the highest setting, I breezed through some substantial rain without getting wet. I even found myself not wearing my earplugs as they were pretty much unnecessary in my little pocket of still air that was created. The LED headlights are super bright and like the wind protection are more comparable to new car headlights than most motorcycles. In case you miss a road hazard despite the bright illumination, you better be ready to do some stopping if you give the brake a good stab. The Spider RT comes equipped with Brembo braking hardware that would do a good job stopping a small car. They're so good in fact, we were even able to test the ABS. They also come equipped with traction control, but I was never able to feel it working despite hammering it in a few loose corners. It certainly gives confidence in the electronic safety package. Riding across America or Texas on the ultra comfortable seat with the cruise control set and the radio blaring was a seriously good time. The Spider is easy to ride and does what it's meant to do and he does it very, very well. Anyone could spend an hour or so getting familiar with one and could be ready to safely ride across country where two wheeled bikes require a higher degree of finesse and time to learn. The best quality of these machines by far is their accessibility. The reality of the crux of it. At the end of the day, these 
these arachnids, as we call it, get more people into motorsports and help them enjoy riding life much longer. Here at Wild West Motorplex, we are here to help you get on your next Canyon Spider RT or RZ Limited. So what you can do is give us a call. The Caniums are starting to come into the dealership for 2022. If you have any questions, call our awesome sales team. They are one of the highest rated sales team in the state of Texas. They are awesome. We're direct. There's no BS when dealing with us and we get directly to the point. You can call us and we can help customize your Can-Am now. 281-392-8852. That number again is 281-392-8852. You can call or text us and let us help you get on your next Can-Am Spider RT or RT Limited. Folks, on behalf of Wild West Motorplex, my name is Watts. Thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful day.